Hello fish lovers, welcome to Sax Tax, Crazy Aquarium Guy. You know what happened to me ever since I started the hobby? You go into a local fish store, you see an amazing schooling fish, and you think, man, I want those. I take 10. You go home, you put them in your aquarium, doesn't look the same. So you go back, think, I buy 20 this time. Now you have 30, pretty big school, right? Still doesn't look the same. So what is the secret? You need to buy a lot. So, and my channel is here to inspire you people, so you will know how it look, so you will know if it's worth it before you buy it. So let's take a look at my 75 gallon cube with 130 green neon tetras. So there we have it guys. Actually, it's not that bright for me. Can't even see the fish. Sometimes a good looking tag is a simple tag. Still doesn't look like 130, right? <laughs> it looks pretty cool. The blue colors really pops against that green background. So this is the 75 gallon cube. It's almost three feet tall. So that's the reason why when I started it two years ago I wanted the Vallesneria Gigantia, the biggest kind of bell, because I knew this tank could really pull off good well. You need a tall tank, otherwise it's going to block all the light and you need to trim it all the time. Of course I started with other plants, but as soon as the valve took over more and more I moved other plants. This is an expensive valve, at least where I live, so I only started with like, I don't know, 10 leaves, if you can call them that, 3 plants I think, a couple of leaves on each, couldn't get it from my local fish store. Not from any of them. But I found a guy online that was selling plants as a private person. And I got it. I know a lot of people don't appreciate Val. But in the right aquarium, it looks pretty good. Super thick. Yeah, this is something I always wanted. Not much, not much to say, but clean, good-looking tank. Since this tank is really supposed to be, not supposed to be, but it's a, it includes a sump in the back. So the whole back of the tank is a sump filter makes it really easy to maintenance. So this is just show tank. In the middle of the living room to look good. Don't need to work much on it. I also have a couple of other fishes in here. We have a fork tail rainbow over there. And we have some thread pin rainbows. We have Mr. Snails or Apple Snails and of course Bristlenose Pleco Babies because since I put in male and a female and threw in a cave they made babies 
and it's good because this tank is a pain to go to get down from the top and clean the glass so I want a lot of plecos in here really thick valve this is actually my channel banner close up of this valve thought it might be cool to have a banner that's my fish and my plants as background yeah so this is it how a big school looks like like I said not as much to play with as with bigger fish but since you have a lot of aquariums one of them can just be like this a show tank you feed it you change water once a week and I clean the filter once a year so that's pretty good could be more the water could be even more clear than it is now so but my fine filter mesh I was out so I need to replace that it's nothing in there now sorry about that yeah you almost want to turn your phone for this you can't do that so that was my 75 gallon cube a little bit short video today guys but hopefully you liked it my tanks are easy to keep not that expensive to start up with and ask me anything you want in the comment section and if you want and like planted aquariums check out my two latest videos those tanks looks pretty good too thanks for stopping by see you in the next video Just had to shoot it a couple of seconds at least during daytime because it almost looked like special effects when I did it last night, super late.